in that corner? It was somebody else in the corner. Cotto didn't say a word, but uh, someone else in the corner wanted to know how many more rounds. Maybe the answer is three. The answer is three, and uh, and I, you know, I think what you're suggesting, Larry, is that maybe there's a concern about fatigue at this moment. Well, yeah. if they're starting to talk about rounds, yes. Yeah, because Endo had a very good last round, even though I thought Cotto landed some beautiful combinations while he was boxing. But the momentum is going towards Endo at this stage, and that's probably what they're concerned about. Now, let me correct myself, as our interpreter Ray Torres reports from Cotto's corner that it was, in fact, Cotto who asked how many more rounds were left in the fight. Again, now here in round 10, He's as Indo yeah. may be a little bit tired from having fired hard punches in the yeah, ninth but, round. It was the first round in the fight in which he outlanded Cotto. Well, he's going to have to be aggressive. I think backing away is not working effective for him because Indo's putting pressure on him and it seemed like psychologically it looks like he's given up by backing away like that. And that can impress the judges. You know, here in Las Vegas, they like guys to finish up strong. And we saw what happened with Trinidad and uh, Dallahoya in the first fight. Mark of how idiosyncratic boxing scoring can be, of course, that one of the three judges in De La Hoya Trinidad gave the 12th round to Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> how funny is that? Probably just as absurd as the way the decision was, too, with a lot of people. Yes. Hard right hand by Cotto and the left hand. Indo has swelled, or has swollen, has slowed down in the 10th round. Another fluid combination by Cotto. Almost switched to a southpaw stance. Decided against it. Charging right hand by Indo. Side of Cotto's head. Big left hand by Cotto as he caught Endo clean coming out of the exchange. Cotto took a big sweeping right hand and I'm sorry, Endo and Cotto made him pay for it. Uppercut lands for Endo. Cotto shakes it off. Crowd pleasing to say the least. Now, Endo pressuring Cotto one more time as Miguel seems to have run out of steam after having fired those combinations against the ropes. Box numbers on power punches through 10. Endo 77 out of 222, 35%. That's by far the best anybody's done against Cotto. But Cotto's still a little bit more prolific. 119 out of 407. Harold, how do you have it through 10? <laughs> okay, Jim. 97, 93, seven rounds to three. Miguel Cotto. Jim, I gotta tell you something. If you're a fatigued fighter, you don't run away. I mean, Miguel Cotto absolutely ran away and lost the ninth round. I mean, without question, very, very odd round. But be as it may, he came back, showed he's the stronger fighter in round 10. He's got a commanding four-point lead. And a hard right hand that lands flush on Indo. How tough is Lovemore Endo? He's taken a good deal of hard art artillery from Miguel Cotto and just keeps coming. And we got to give Miguel credit too, because I've been impressed with his toughness tonight too, because he's never got completely unraveled. And he's been hit with some good punches for a young fighter. No, 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 stop, stop. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Stay off his head, all right? Come on. He's just very, very lucky that Hindu cannot punch with a straight right hand. Uh -oh. <laughs> Who so, says he so can't throw a that. straight right hand, Emmanuel? <laughs> he must have heard me. If Cotto comes out of this with a victory, it will be a fight that will stand him in good stead for a long time, knowing that some nights you go in there, you do your best, you hit the other guy a lot, and the other guy keeps coming at you. You have to find other things to do. In other words, you say in this fight he will grow and develop from. Absolutely. This is a, 
If this is the last fight of the first part of his career or the first fight of the next part, whatever it is, uh, it would be an important test for him. Good left hand for Endo. Cotto is in another round of semi-retreat. Not a lot of steam on those Cotto punches, so Endo just keeps yeah. pressing forward. He presses forward, but Cotto is still getting off the more effective punches and getting in and out, in and out. But even though he's backing up, he's winning the fight on clean punches. Now. This is a boxing round for Goto. He's used his feet more in the past two or three rounds than at any previous time in his career. Endo gets right there, but he can't pull the trigger when he gets in position. 20th professional fight for Miguel Goto. Comes in at 19-0 with 16 knockouts. Most celebrated young prospect in the sport at this moment. Ah! Getting a battle from Lovemore Endo. <laughs> CompuBox numbers on power punches in the 11th showed it to be a virtually even round. Goto 14 out of 35 by CompuBox count. Endo 12 out of 39. You heard Endo's corner saying Koto will come out strong in the 12th. Endo decides he wants to be the one who's coming out strong. He's the aggressor to begin the round. Big right hand by Lovemore Endo. And another right hand to the top of the head. Goto takes them both very well. Comes back with his own shots. If Endo were able to put as much body behind his punches as Cotto does behind his, this would be an even fight. It would be a definitely even fight, but, but Cotto releases his punches a little quicker. Where Endo gets there and he normally has to get set to punch. Cotto lets his punches just get off a lot faster. In the pocket. Okay, okay. Okay. And Cotto backs off, telling Tony Weeks that Endo hit him in the hips. Good left hook to the body by Endo. Right hand to the rib cage as well. Cotto getting tested severely down the stretch. Hard right hand by Cotto. Stuns Lovemore Endo. Now here comes Endo again. Left hook by Cotto, won the exchange. Endo momentarily tired. Endo's right hand didn't have a lot on it. <laughs> And I tell you what, when this final bell ends, Cotto will be very relieved. And if Cotto gets the decision, I got a hunch Endo's going to say he was robbed again. Yeah, but uh, no. He's fought he's a gonna very say, good fight. He's, he's going to say, I taught fight. this young man a lesson. And the only reason that he got the decision is that it's his promoter and his promoter's hometown. Fact is, it's been a good close fight in which Miguel Cotto has had just a little bit the better of it, it would appear to us. Especially the early rounds, early rounds. So you remember the last rounds, but the thing, the early rounds, even though they might not be that exciting, there's a winner and a loser. And Cotto won about, most the first half of the fight, Cotto won very good. Well, Miguel Cotto is going to go 12 full rounds for the first time in his career. And as a mark of how tough it's been for him, moments ago, he stole a look up at the scoreboard above him to see how much time was left. He makes it. GM Grand, we go to the scorecards. Glenn Trowbridge scores it 117 to 111. Dalby Shirley 115 to 113. And Carol Castellano scores it 116 to 112. All for the winner by unanimous decision. Still undefeated, Mike Cotto.